day 73 solution, let's get started. Well, I'm going to use the boilerplate code on this page to actually get going. I'm going to go and create it, the title, my portfolio. Now, the rest of the stuff on here is all about how the page is designed. Um, for instance, this tells us the encoding of the text, like what kind of text to use to, to read the page. This points us at a CSS file for the styling, which we'll get later on, but we won't worry about that for now. I'm going to go and get rid of Hello World, and just above this script code, I'm going to build my page. It's in the body tag already, so I'm going to add my heading. Now, one of the things to do with HTML, get in the habit of once you finish a tag, just refresh it to see if it looks the way you want it to. That way, you can immediately see any tags that are broken. If you don't do that, you're going to end up refreshing it right at the end and it's going to be an entire mess and it's difficult to go back and see where you went wrong. Every time you've got a tag and you completed it, refresh it and see what's happening. That's the easiest way to get that sorted. Okay, I'm going to start and I'm just going to do one item. You're going to do five, of course. My first one that I was particularly proud of was my day 56 solution. I'm going to put a little bit of paragraph text to explain why. Again, get used to refreshing that just to check everything so day 56 was all about using CSV reading and file and folder manipulation to make 100 files in dozens of folders. This was tricky because the names of the folders and files were based on the top 100 streaming songs and so weren't simple to encode. So I've got my text. Next thing I need is a print screen of that. So I'm going to take a quick print screen and I'm going to, I'm going to upload it to my folder. I'm going to give it a better name. And in fact, I'm going to make an images folder and put it in there. I'm going to give it a name. And you'll see it's not a JPEG this time. It's a PNG, but it's cool. IMG source equals 56.png. My width, I'm going to do a pixels one this time. Let's go 500 pixels. And let's just check that's gone in OK. Ah, it's in the images folder. This is why it's worth refreshing every time. There we go, that looks OK. I'm going to turn this image into a link now. So, first thing first, let's go get that link. To get your link, you'll need to get the URL of your REPL and copy it. Now I said I wanted it around the image, so I'm going to put my A tag in and wrap it around the image. And I'm going to add the second argument, which is href, you'll remember, where I paste in the address. Now, if I refresh that, the entire image is now a link, and if I click that, it'll take me to that REPL. Now, again, it doesn't work in the mini view. If you put it in the big view and you click it, it'll take you through to that REPL, and you've basically created your own portfolio. It's just not very styled at the moment. So our next job is going to be styling it up.